keep those cardiovascular diseases at bay things like stroke hypertension J5. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Dr. Hilda and my YouTube channel is about health and lifestyle. Welcome to 2023. Happy New Year. I wish you the best in this year. I pray that this year is fruitful, we achieve our dreams, and we just smash those goals. So this is the first video of the year. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, welcome so it's a new year and everybody is trying to pick up healthy lifestyles everybody is trying to set new year resolutions to help you attain your goals help you live a healthier life and just help you achieve more in life so i just thought it fits to make a video like this to give you all tips that can improve your health in 2023 like just simple tips that practice and you would actually see a huge difference in your lifestyle so if there's something you're interested in knowing just sit back and come on this journey with me my first tip is your diet your diet plays a very huge role on your health preventing you from illness your immune system so if we take more time to work on our diets time to create a diet that contains the basic nutrients and vitamins our body needs your immune system will be better so they're just simple things that we probably already know but we've been taking for granted so things like fruits and vegetables i know like it can get boring especially for vegetables but we can always look for ways to spice it up like if you know that for me i know that i do not really like salads so i've tried to make my salads in a more interesting way when i make put a vegetable I also add something that i like like i like eggs so, and i also like chicken so i'll try to incorporate this into my salad and make it more spicy and this really encourages me to eat so if you're someone that doesn't really like a particular thing like you do not like vegetables you can look for something else to just spice it up and make it yummy make it look like something you want to eat and also fruits i know it can be stressful to always have to buy fruit wash fruit but if you buy in bulk and learn how to store them properly, wash your fruits, store them, it will actually go a long way in reducing the stress. You can also have your fruits in the form of smoothies. And that's something I'm trying to pick up in this 2023. Fresh fruits have a burst of vitamins that is fully loaded with vitamins. And these vitamins are the things that help to improve our immunity. So if you blend your fruits, you maybe put a sweet fruit with something that you do not really like maybe you do not really like cucumbers because they're not so sweet you can spice it up mix it with bananas mix it with fruits that are sweet so uh, while you're taking those bananas and you're enjoying your smoothie you're also taking all those other vegetables that you do not like you can even also incorporate vegetables into your smoothies you can add spinach lettuce to your smoothies so let's just try to make a diet more beautiful something that we actually want to eat and we're looking forward to it if we make it enticing we would find ourselves actually consuming these fruits and vegetables that so my next tip is taking water all these things i'm saying it's not like i practice them i'm also trying to work on this in year 2023 i want to take more water there are different things you can do to improve your water intake First off, you can set reminders on your phone. If you know that you want to consume like three liters of water in a day, you'll be like, okay, how many times should you drink water? You divide it, you know when you should take the water. You can set reminders on your phone to remind you to take water at this point. So you find out that at the end of the day, you've taken a huge amount of water. If you're someone that always likes to take fluids that are tasty, you feel like water is boring, you're not encouraged, you can infuse water with fruits like strawberries, apples just get a water bottle pour your water into it put your strawberries inside and you notice that the water is actually flavored and you just drink it and keep drinking so these are the basic tips that can help you improve your water intake because when you improve your water intake it will help your kidneys function better even your skin looks more plump you look more youthful 60 to 70 percent of our body is made up of water so it's really important that we are consuming the right volume of water that our body requires okay so let's try to take more water this year another important tip for 2023 is exercising guys while i'm giving you these tips i'm also reflecting on my life i do not exercise there are times that i would climb the stairs and i'm planting like i'm trying to catch my breath or i'm trying to walk fast i'm trying to catch my breath that's not a good thing 
there, there are so many benefits of exercise apart from even losing weight i know if you're trying to lose weight exercising is a plus but there are other things that exercising also does to your body improves your metabolism mentally it also helps you keeps you more active during the day it's good for your muscles it's good for your joints you look more youthful you keep those cardiovascular diseases at bay things like stroke hypertension you're cutting down the risk so exercising actually gives you so many benefits that you do not know so this year I want to start exercising at least 30 minutes every day. Like, apart from my walking about at work, I want to do physical exercise for 30 minutes. If I'm lazy to exercise, one way that I can go about it is that if there's an activity that I really like to do, you can always put it after exercising or schedule with exercising. Like, if you like to watch music, if you like to listen to podcasts, if you like to read audiobooks, or you're exercising, I'm listening to it. I'm consciously looking forward to exercising because you know that while exercising, you're going to be doing that favorite hobby that you like. You're going to be listening to your books. You, If you're someone that loves gospel music, I'm listening to your gospel music and you can connect with God during your music. So, just try to pair your exercise time or post-exercise time with something you like if you're someone that likes smoothies after your exercise you can make a cup of smoothie a jar of smoothie for yourself and you see that you're actually looking forward to exercising because it comes with a benefit that you enjoy since 2023 i actually want to be more active like i don't want to be climbing a flight of stairs i'll be panting no 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 i want to be more active and you should also try this so my fourth tip is creating time to relax you guys i know it's really hard in nigeria things are expensive we're all trying to work so hard to earn a livelihood like just to be comfortable but it's very important that you set out time to relax you can go for a vacation i mean it must not be something expensive you can't afford to go abroad you can just relax just look for a beautiful place a calm place reflect this really helps our mental health because we notice that if you're someone that has a stressful job, if you have a week off and you come back to work and you're well relaxed, you notice that you are even functioning better. That's because mentally you're relaxed, you're more productive. So it's very important that we have time to relax. And it doesn't even really have to be a particular period. It can be every day. Like just give yourself minutes, set out minutes in a day. Like, okay, this five to ten minutes is actually for relaxing for reflecting for me one thing i want to start doing this year is journaling i want to connect more with myself i want to put down my thoughts i want to organize myself more so i'm going to be incorporating journaling during my relaxed time you can pick your favorite time of the day for me the night time is generally the favorite time for me because in the mornings i'm just rushing cranky to go to work but that's just who i am so so my last tip is that if you actually want to stay out of the hospital kind of have to go to a hospital and I'll explain so I know Nigerians I don't know if it's Nigerians but a lot of people self-medicate you feel any symptom you feel ill you feel uncomfortable and you just rush to a pharmacy around you close by and get any medication any drug you're going to be taking this 2023 you have to be cautious you have to know what the drug is I mean I've seen people that have been taking a particular drug for a very long time and they come to the hospital and you ask them why are you taking this drug and they actually don't know the reason like you just give them for this particular thing and sometimes the drug is actually worsening their situation so in 2023 this year in order to prevent being admitted in the hospital or going to the hospital when you're ill when you actually feel a symptom you should actually go to your hospital to prevent it from getting complicated and getting to that point where you actually feel very ill i mean there are some symptoms that you might have like a simple headache and just take paracetamol for you and you're fine if that headache resolves it's fine but if you keep having this persistent headache or persistent pain you should try to go to the hospital these five tips i've given you are very simple things that if you actually start practicing these things you'll notice improvement in your life in general so if you've enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up it actually goes a long way if you like my videos leave a comment if there are things that you want to start doing in 2023 and you want to share with me leave a comment if you have any question regarding health or anything you want to talk to me about feel free to drop in the comment section or if you're shy you can send me a direct message on instagram i'll leave my handle somewhere around thank you for watching 
and i'll see you in my next video bye go, go.